Alright, let's get this done. We have so much to do, but it's exciting. Let's see. Over in the hold, and the next thing to do is going to be going back to Nokron, a triple city. And apparently, right, there was something over here, a torture that I miss. It's going to require a really annoying jump. And I think I'll hold off on that, because if I miss the jump, I lose that rune arc. But this is where I'll go first. Down here should be Knight's Sacred Ground, which is going to be decently useful. Let's see how this goes. The question for me is whether there are going to be any bosses here I want to beat. I get the impression that there probably aren't, but we'll see. Where there should be a... Oh, you can't ride your horse in here. That is new and surprising. Question is... Huh. This is interesting and different. Let's keep on moving. Huh. Okay, so that is a way to get down over there. A big question is what might be over this way. Big statue over there, kind of like the one in Celia, but okay. That's not an option, just have to swing around over here. Okay, fair enough. Here we are, Knight's Sacred Ground. So we got the Hallowhorn Grounds, the other Hallowhorn Grounds. Knock run over there. Knight's Sacred Ground. Rejuvenating boluses, and that's for Death Blight. Death Blight buildup, craftable item, it's Death Blight's special reach, Tell the fashion, what's such an event? That winged great horn, and if <sighs> problem is the weight of that thing, but the T buff it applies is very very good, and I'd like to make use of it eventually. Looking around, these are rooftops, so though. It's going to be whole thing. So is there anything up here, or clearly I hear something? Is that a tear or what? There we go. Oh, and a rune arc. Nice. How exciting. Main thing is, lightning blade and, oh, a silver tear, and, mm hmm, just see if they'll, but sometimes it seems they'll roll, sometimes they won't, the big thing is making sure I don't fall to my death. Oh, so it seems they dodge the charge, but don't dodge the uncharged, well that was interesting. I get the impression that whatever they dropped, I missed because they fell to their death. Let's see. Silver Tear. Elden Ring. Hmm. Silver Tear with a name. If you're defeating the Mimic Tears, okay, some are able to transform. Lesser Mimic Tears before they transform. Get Golden Runes. Huh. Sometimes they'll drop Gravel Stones. Sometimes. Ah. Okay. Let's see what happens. So root your husk. How do I want to get over? There is the question. I can probably make that, but hmm. Let's see. Yeah, I can make it, but the rest it's over here. And we got celestial dew, I like that. Figure this out. Have uh, seek jumping. Somehow I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah, but the celestial do isn't really much use for me. I'm not going to make anyone mad enough that I would need absolution. Presumably. It's not on purpose. There we are. And anything else over here? Soldier husk. Message. Thank you. Appreciate the message. Are we a liar? And it does not seem as if there is any... For a second, I thought that would be a way through. Never mind. Hmm. And down here, or do I just have to go back? I think I just have to go back. That's sad. And the only thing I got out of that was a celestial duo. Eh, whatever. Hmm. Somehow get on top of that to leave a message if I really felt like it. So let's use this. Come on. Hmm, the angle of that is not great. And there we are. Okay. It's a little tough. 
We're working our way down. It's sacred ground. And once we get to the floor of the streets, it should be... The music here feels very retro. I like how they have some sort of sci-fi-esque sound effects. Okay, but over here... Okay, there's some presumably nascent butterflies, but I can't imagine that there will be all that much more over there. It's interesting, because it's actually a relatively linear area. Fortnite. Fort evening. I hear a scarab somewhere. Visions of too high up. This should be presumably a nascent butterfly. Yeah, it is interesting. Nickel ones around here for whatever reason. There isn't really any explanation given or any immediately obvious rationale. Silver to your house, liar ahead. Do I? Yeah, I hear that scarab, but now I can go on this wall and not fall to my death. That's the idea. Do I want to make this work? And there are a lot of silver tears around. Skeleton, give up skeleton. Dark Souls 2 reference? Okay. Presumably down over there will probably be the Finger Slayer Blade. Fort Lights? Hmm. How oh, then? Should be the spot, but try ranged battle. Oh, and a. Okay. There we go. Hit the big giant ball rather than go down there and let it hit me. I feel like there might be some measures taken to ensure that you don't fall off cliffs when using that spell. Happened more than I might have liked when I was doing it in Dark Souls 3. Black web weight, there we go, there we go. That is quite good. That. With the cipher engraved, uses a whetstone knife. Affinity using physical or occult type Ashes of War. Additional affinity of poison, blood, or occult can be chosen. And that should be quite nice for my purposes. Oh, hello there. One, two. Not that I've needed those, really. I haven't taken any damage yet. Oh, no. oh we got Nox over here. That's fun. Hmm. My question is. How much? That's good damage, actually. That's nice. And another. Thank you. Lightning does seem to be a pretty good option, but... Holy would be better. I just don't have a way to deal holy. In range right now. Hmm. Wire ahead, and... This should be... The Mimic Tier, if I recall correctly. Not that I'll ever use the thing, but... It is cool. Ah, and interesting. We got more stuff there. Lord ahead. Requires two stone sword keys for this thing. Hmm. Lost with the use. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any kind of source of holy damage. I kind of thought, you know, maybe I should actually put on <sighs> Sacred Boy because I'm going to be fighting some Nox. And I really should have done that. Okay. Luckily, they don't dodge that, and I can just poke at them from range. But in here, should be... Oh, what kind of Bloodborne... Bloodborne is this? Why is it always holy? I mean, they look like messengers, too. Mimic to your ashes, mimic to your spirit, legendary ash for mates, mimic to your HP rather than FP. Form of the summoner to fight alongside them. Its mimicry does not extend to imitating the summoner's will. Here is the result of the attempt by the Eternal City to forge a lord. Okay. Well, that's nice. Smithing Stone 3. Good amount of those, but... It is interesting that one of these ended up being a chess, but none of these have ever been chess. Show up in the walking mausoleums as well, which... Leads to some interesting questions as to what the mausoleums are specifically. This actually reminds me a bit of Yahar Ghoul. A little. Huh. So I guess the question is, would going around this way link back up, or be a way to get back over if you'd... Well, probably not. You can't jump up there from here. Okay. So then, 
But, oh, jumping onto that slope. That makes sense. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. It's gonna have to... Big ol' jump. That actually was not too difficult. Friend, brief respite. Huh. Here we are. Visions of blood. Now there was another one I saw that allowed me to jump out to no item ahead. Huh. Yeah, no item. I mean to jump off onto a rooftop like well, jump through a broken window somewhere, and it was... might have been somewhere in Lyrnia. But I know that someone made a reference to Bloodborne, where you do that in the Upper Cathedral Ward. Might have been... Caria Manor? Don't quite recall. Okay. Just going through. Thank you. That is... Oh, the Nox Flowing Hammer, because we got that Nox Herb Sword from this... Switch for some Monk Fight. Shaped like a suspended metal drop, but guys, it's ring hammers. Want to see the Eternal City? Liquid metal from a silver tier. Your early temples will harden. Liquid form. Go whip before slamming its teardrop shaped head down. That's a bit harsh. Slamming it down. Some silver tier husks over here, and whatever that big ball dropped. Oh, but we have to drop down here. That makes sense. Okay. But it is a good thing that I already took the big wrecking ball down. Rolling. Yeah. Yeah. It did. Oh, and we got a marble tier from that, so presumably I hadn't picked it up. I wonder if it would drop it again, but... Oh, you can just... There's a ladder here. I may be stupid. Yeah, I could have used this to get down. If I'd want it. But, it's not as if the fall damage is meaningful in any way. Okay. Poking around. Oh, another Nox. Swords wrist. Okay, come on. Oh, and you're using Night Maiden's Miss. Okay. And both. Ooh. But yeah. I honestly miss there being a melee hitbox on the Lighting Spear. Is it allowed for some pretty fun tack? But I suppose. And that's basically the inspiration for all the melee-oriented lightning spear spells that are in this game. Following up with the legacy of... Lightning Stake from... Dark Souls 3, which... I was never able to use. Carefully, victory. But carefully? Oh, because... Because of the Olympic... Rings, I think. Or maybe they were talking about just this grace down here. It's possible. Got a bunch of... Oh, silver tears on the ground over there. Hmm. Let's go over here, and this is... That's sacred ground. Okay. Honestly, in that case, I don't think I'll run to anything all that intimidating here, but even still, let's put sacred boy back on here. Okay. Only I have the sanctified wet blade. It's kind of funny to think that I have every wet blade except the hmm. every wet blade except the sanctified one right now because my mage blade playthrough, black blood blade was the only one I didn't get. It is interesting that there is some association with the silver tier with arcane. One well, that it's not immediately obvious. There isn't really any special scaling, but hmm. would be funny if the mimic tier somehow got stronger if you had more arcane. Is there anything over here, or...? Well... I get the impression that there probably is not. It'd be funny if there was, though. Let me see. And then... And then... Nothing! Oh? 
Okay. You know? Let's leave a message. In the in the great tradition of souls. Let's see. Is it gonna be? Okay. It's kind of sad that you can't get in there. Oh well, at least we know. Hmm. Let's see. Lightning spear. And then. Oh my goodness. Try this up. And. What's over here? Another celestial drill. There is a surprising amount just in and around here for some reason. Okay. Question is is there anything over this way if we hop on this ledge? Is it larval tears they're dropping or something else? So that was too far. Spacing is the whole thing. And there we go. Another one. I wonder if one of them will turn into a humanoid. Hmm. Come on. Golden rune again. Oh, but they drop the golden runes when you take them out before they transform, so at least one of them would probably have been humanoid. And there we are. Soft cotton. And silver tear husk. Let's see what else is around here. Lots of silver tear husks. May as well get them, but don't quite recall what they use them to craft again. And whatever it is, I probably won't be using it. Hmm. Little stick over there. So you wonder if there's gonna be another boss in here, or if it just it's just the finger slayer blade. So Rajir will die after either after I get the finger slayer blade or after I give it to Ronnie. Hmm. After that it's Sifra Aqueduct. Should be okay. Let's see what happens. More nascent butterflies and nascent butterfly. Any other item over here or silver to husk? Hmm. Do I want to do this? Oh, and there's a way gate over there, and the question is where that's going to send me. I'm interested. The Seifer Aqueduct, presumably, I can access from. That little drop down by the spirit jellyfish, but... You're kidding me, no item? Spare, yeah. Still no item. I tried. And up there, beyond that way gate. Oh, there's a silver tear husk in this corner. That is probably a little perfunctory. Then, is this going to be the Finger Slayer Blade? Another ornate chest. But I do have the right. And this is... Message. Didn't expect message, but on message. That's funny. Okay. Ah, uh, Finger Slayer Blade and a Great Ghost Squabor. Two of those now. I got another from the Dragon King Soldier. And Treasure of the Eternal City of Nokron. Blade said have been born of a corpse. The blood-drenched fetish is proof of the high treason committed by the Eternal City. Symbolizes its downfall. Kind of bewildered by those without a fate, said to be able to harm the greater will and its vassals. Hmm. Where will this send me then? To another location. Surprised there was no boss there. Oh? Hmm. So that's the back then. Okay. Hmm. In that case, I'll go down past those jellyfish. Oh? Hmm. Hmm. But. Should be a super aqueduct down here. Yeah. Here we got. What do we got here? Yeah, a stone sword key. Not bad. Yeah, we have 18. I think we're okay. 
This is good. There's a lift over there. What it leads to is my question. Hmm. Bird. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Two silver true huts. And then. Anything? No, nothing over there. Sad. Hmm. Okay. Here's the grace. Dog ahead. Well. My big question is actually. How much damage will this deal with? Quality versus occult. Hmm. Either way, definitely want Lion's Caught to take on those guys. That's. Oh, wow, that's. Let's stick with that. That. 17 more versus. It's four more. And then. Let me see. Just four. Keen. And this is just worse. But. Hmm. Decreases by 29, increases by 24, so it's about the same. A bit more reliable, I'd say, too. Hmm. Well. That's. I'm gonna have to test this manually, aren't I? Well. I'm going to a 1 versus. 430 versus. Four thirty five, but hmm. that is worse. So quality will probably be my best option. I would say. Just general purpose right now. Eventually, a Colt will probably get better in terms of pure physical damage, but also makes it unbuffable, which is interesting, but shouldn't be too much of a problem, but still. Well, I... I'm going to be fighting Crucible Knight. I should put on Catch Flame. That's right. Okay. Hmm. Means I'll need that shield back in a bit. Should be okay. Should I gauntlets? And then we... Hmm. I doubt it was guarding a missionary's cookbook, if I recall correctly. Cellar. Hmm. It's not the secret aqueduct quite yet. Apparently. Oh, these ones actually hang down. Okay. And in that case... Here we are, the sea for aqueduct. It's hanging down too. My question is, what if we put on a shield? Thank you, and gotta stay out of the way so it doesn't see us. Thank you. Come on. Cool. Oh goodness. It's a little frightening. Hmm. Which fortification would be good? It's actually... There's these. <clears throat> Golden Vow. Flame grant me. And then... But a catch flame should be good. We can take this for right now. Okay. And we... Thanks. Thanks. Nice. There we go. One. Two. And... Oh, okay. And how do I... Dodge. Thank you. It's an awkward position. And... Okay. Ooh, alright. That's tough. I... Thanks. Ooh, nice. One, two. I... Dodge. Dodge. Nice. One, two, I... Ooh, okay. Dodge. Can I burn? There we go. These guys are... Chomps. 
Crucible Horn Shield. Ritual of Red Tinged Gold. But it is gold. Ridge Ray. Creatures of Red Horn. Ancient Holiness dwells within. Crucible Horn skewers foes when performing shield bashes. Foes maintaining guarding stance. Shield shot backwards and even staggered. Alright, let's get that missionary cookbook. The fact that they can relatively easily fall off is funny in a bad way. And oh, golden centipedes. Missionary's cookbook. That enabled to become a finger maiden, became a missionary, went forth to spread holy teaching. The sacred order pot. Sacred order pot. That. Holy water, sacred order, heavy holy damage. Okay. Huh. Jewel pot, incantations of the golden order. Praying them rising again. No mercy for those who trespass beyond life's bounds. Hmm. Fire, red main fire, fire to stave off. Oil. To a sorcery in Rhea Lucaria. Poop pot. You might poison their own bodies, push someone in a privy, expect to get dumb on your hands. Dark moon of Ronnie Carmen Princess. I'll buy Quagmire, white purple haze irresistibly draws down to sleep, sweet dreams. Grimly ghost flame. Vengeful spirits arose from the cinders, childhood memory of the Lord of Blood. The sword does not change even during combat. The sash and incantations in a red shadow. Where behold thy defiled blood and like any humor that flows in our grand realm. Rear word. Okay. Hmm. Poison. Poisonous materials. Poison bloom. Toxic mushroom. Oh, mushroom and poop. So the fetid pot is actually arguably a bit easier to craft, I would say. Which is interesting. Hmm. Well, that said, it does have a downside of poop build up on you. So, get rid of that. It's easier to just press the sword once, right? And the scroll than the correct one, quote unquote, and change that. Hmm. Alright. Just need a bit more. Hmm. I. You know what? We'll take this. Use that thing. And I will simply. Level up. And then. What next? Hmm. That's right, I don't have a weapon on me anymore. Okay. Let's re-equip our catalyst then. Should be good. See how much. Leveling up increases some damage. We'll see. Hmm. So then, in that case... Oh, not like that. Wait, wait. Huh? Okay, there we go. It's good enough that I think... Let's see. <clears throat> Actually, let's put hammer on, because we'll be using that against the guards. How many... Don't have enough to level that up right now. Okay. One of those from that. Falling Storm Beast. Okay. For a 1 versus... It's about the same, actually. Said Strength is probably a better option. Which I'm being, we're almost at level 100. Kind of crazy to think. Hmm. Catch Flame, though, I think... I should still... Put Gavo of Haima back, anyway. Well... Big thing is, what is... <clears throat> That's a good option, actually. And if I charge it... Ah, and it makes the bow bigger. And hold it for some time, too. That's pretty cool, but... Oh, there are limits to how much you can aim from that position. It's a cool spell, though. Could use it for some sniping if necessary, but in the end I've got bows, so bow would probably be better. Mm. Well, right as sorcerers are just such a fundamentally cool idea, but I think 
Yeah, and the good thing is, and I didn't think it would respawn, but it was still nice to get verification. Crucible Knight did not respawn, and therefore it's just gone for good. I think this will be order healing, if I recall correctly. Which will be its death point buildup, which is an idea. Oh, but it's on the other side. Okay, wire ahead. Ranged battle. Well, I... Am I going to be able to reach it? Let's see. Come on. And... Oh, nice. That's cool. Oh, but that was a very, very bad idea. Because it means that it just gets back over that way and it becomes unhittable. If I could kill it in one hit, maybe, but... It is simply much more trouble than it is worth. Wow. Hmm. We should work around that. Find that thing, and Dee's brother should be around here too. Oh, another Crucible Knight. Okay. Hmm. In that case. I suppose the only correct thing to do would be putting Catch Flame back on. Okay. Big thing is, I'm yet, I'm not used to pairing the spear ones. Hmm. Now back on. All right. Hmm. Still got that there. Nice. Hmm. The number of options for this, but I do think that I might. Might be a good idea to fight that putrid avatar and dragon bear, or just get the resistance increasing tier. As if I'm using runarchs as often as I am. Hmm. Well, I could do that, actually, but, hmm. I'll we'll need to learn to parry them eventually, so. Especially since the Silurian will be past all of this. Oh, but. Right. Now back on. Put the seal back on. Okay. Cool. Golden Val. And oh, phone hawks. Fun. Fun grab me strength. And actually, probably better off using Frenzy Burst. At least first here. There we go. For a bit of quick damage early on. And oh, oh my goodness. Alright. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, my oh, alright. Not great. And oh come on, you bastard. How am I going to Big thing is they don't have a shield, so that might be useful. Thanks. I actually hate you. Can I? Oh, okay. What? Okay, all right. And come on, you piece of. Ah. Uh, how am I going to make this work? I. Uh, really, really stupid, actually. Okay. But it's. Having to deal with that goddamn Fallen Hawk soldier is really infuriating. Hmm. Go to hell! Go to hell! Okay. Well, in that case, maybe I just use Frenzy Burst. Because, among other things, I can just hit her from range. There's no shield. It's honestly interesting that there are multiple Crucible Knights there in the first place. Yeah. Spear ones might be a bit more complicated to parry, but I also don't need to parry them. I can 
just blast them from range or dodge around them because you don't have a shield. It's preventing you from engaging them like I'd normally like to. Okay. Thank you. Here we are. Let's do it. Thank you. Coming around this way, which means... Thanks. We're not... Cool and... Oh, come on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shoot. And then we... Mm -hmm. Shoot and... Oh, okay. Oh, what? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? What the hell? God damn. It... I think I'll probably stick with Catch Flame. This is kind of insufferable, though. It... The worst part is all the ads. Not as if they're all that much trouble, but just let's poke at you with impunity. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Okay. Let me try this in here. And nice. One, two. Cool. Didn't chug that yet. Nice. And get up. One, two, three. It wasn't even that bad. But. Summerstone six. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. In that case, will probably level up. Golden Order Seal. That is a pretty good idea, I think. Mm. Now it's at 197. Make it stronger. 207, not bad. Okay. Mm. The aqueduct facing cliffs. is how I do this now. Probably just Bloodhound's Fang right there and then move the staff and seal there. Okay. It's got really, really good scaling too. It, even on this silly unfocused build, getting very, very good damage from Catch Flame. But also, <clears throat> Crucibles are also weak to lightning, but mm, I probably want to stick with Catch Flame anyway. It's just less complicated that way. Come on. Come on. Cinerad. Mm -hmm. do I want this to happen? Smithing Stone 5? Okay. That hmm. Still not that much. We gotta uh, reach around though, is the question. Hello. Okay, well we can just stop you in your tracks. Cool. Dodge. Alright. On. Thank you. More Dukist Ruba from their corpse. I well I guess it makes them like the commoners. Dropping Uruba. So I guess they presumably would have been commoners originally. 
enslaved and made to do all that. Oh, then, hi. Oh, and, okay, you're a golden scarab? Oh, well, if you die, we'll get it. Nice. I think? Yeah, there we go. Order healing. Hunters of those who have been death, it will be its death by build up noble gold mass will it will become of the hunters, how easy it is for learning and word in its spirit is to the ravings of fanatics, the good and great wanted in their foolishness, there's an absolute evil to contend with. Such a notion that exists in the fundamentals of order. This view, oh don't you dare. And that up there was the mimic to area, and that's Yeah, that ghost over there was hinting at the location of Mogwin. Okay. There's that, and this is Golden Rune 13. Okay, well, it's on that description already. Hmm. Mentions a Finger Maiden, mentions the Urdri, mentions the Capital, and then the Grace of Gold, blessing those who served it. Okay. What else? Just a vivid coloration. Oh, but this is right over. Yeah, is, isn't this right over where I fought the Dragonkin soldier? Yeah, it is. That's funny. It's sort of the top of that waterfall now. Hmm. Big question is just... Taking down those valiant gargoyles. Golden Rune 6, and... Well, there's something behind here. Pretty clearly. Thank you. Not bad. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, and you're over here, too. Okay. Smithing Stone 4, alright. More Golden Centipedes. That Spirit Flame Arrow. Hmm. This does tell me is to check. That up there might be something. We'll see. A couple of pathways right now that seem possibly relevant. Left over here on the right on the other side. It's interesting how there are a number of Golden Centipedes here. This is... oh, another rune arc. That, that's good. I'll take it. Do not want to have to farm those things. I might end up having to. Anything here, or... Well, we just crack the vessel open. So that and Oh, is this Dee's brother? Doesn't say anything at all. Okay. Hmm. I guess the armor sort of di dictates which one is working. Darien. This would be Devin. In her order. Mm. Got the inner order gesture. Which will get outer order and eventually golden order totality, which is a T pose. And we actually already do it as part of the Whitney of proper death incantation. Oh, and this is where we fight those gargoyles. Okay. Hmm. In that case... Am I in a position to fight them right now? Honestly, yeah. Actu actually... Uh. There is part of me that feels like I should go and kill that putrid ant. Uh, whatever. It's now or never. I don't need that flask, do I? Probably not. Let's just boon up. Blood flame just for funny. Val. I. There is no reason not to hedge my bets. At least by putting on some useful tears. Just physic and. Spiked, uh, windy, uh, caution to explode. We can just get strength index. The quality. Now like this, we're at... No, 435 with this flask. We're at 494. And that is about a seventh. A seventh more. A little under... It's not bad, it's a meaningful increase in damage. Let's go through, go back, take that guy on. Okay. Hmm. Sifra. 
should get Order Healing, which will probably be useful. If I don't, I will not be able to fight Fortis Axe. It'll be a while, so I'd need to get Curse Mark of Death to make that happen. But hmm. which would, in its own way, kind of be an alternate ending to the Irani quest line. Group ahead. How would I get up there then? Is the question. Is there a way up top? Over the waterfall. Hmm. Oh, whatever. I'll figure it out. There is, then there is. If there isn't, there isn't. And oh, okay. Cool. Oh my goodness. And this is not amazing for taking these guys out. Can I? Hmm. Come on. I. Oh my. What? Okay. Come on, you. Did not intend to have to fight you all. Cool. Thanks. All right. Hmm. It does make me wonder a little, and oh, come on, you. Uh, oh, I had my. Uh, Bloodhound's Fang on right now, whatever. One, two. Hmm. Well, whatever. I. Do not get the impression that there is a. immediate way up. Wire ahead. So, can you get to the top of that waterfall? I get, the, I, I get the impression that that's just for show. It's Blessing's Boon. And, really? Okay. Stupid. Dodge. Yeah. Two. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Bow. Flame Grant me strength. Okay, cool. Here we are. Should be decent. Go and fight the. Oh, we see one gargoyle right now. Fun. Using Lion Squat is going to be the way almost for sure. And cannot. And cannot dodge. Thanks. And. Mm, cannot. Thanks. Cannot dodge. Okay. Annoying. Cannot. Another. Slam. And. Mm, this is tough. Cannot dodge. Cannot. Thanks, take you down, and there we are, stance break, which means one, two, and one more should be death for the, this one, and slam, and there we are. That means there's just one gargoyle left. Exciting. So, hmm, put on this, and can I, oh my goodness, alright, and can I, okay, cool, what, okay, alright. Take that, and dodge, okay, cool. Then grant me strength, or not, not, not. Ah, oh, please, you're stupid. Okay, dodge. Flame <clears throat> grant me strength. Crimson. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And can I dodge? Can I? Thanks. And can I again? Slam and d dodge. Not okay. Annoying. Oh, you're kidding. Dodge. Okay. Hmm. -hmm. You got an axe, is the interesting thing. Slam, and... Mm, this is annoying. So I doubt their poise regenerates all that fast, so... I, okay, can I... Slam, and... Okay, there we go, and... Wait, what? Huh? Oh my... What the hell? How did that happen? That is one of the dumbest things I've ever seen or experienced. That was embarrassing. Really embarrassing. <sighs> Stupid. And I need that. I honestly need that. But I'm definitely better off with resistance increasing tier eventually. Whatever. It's just some bullshit. <laughs> Cast that thing. Now, I should probably go and take out that one thing. Where are my runes, though? Okay, right over there. It's actually pretty nice. And just cannot dodge. Okay, well, alright, whatever. Dodge, cannot slam. Nice, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, come on. Okay? What in the. Uh, 
size of that is actually insane. Okay. And dodge. Can I? Mm, slam. Slam and another. Can I? Thank you. How did how did that happen? Whatever. And okay, there we go. Which means one more hit to kill. One. Two. Okay. Fine. Which means we need to reapply buffs, I think. And dodge. Cool. And oh, okay. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Can I? And can I? Cool. And another. And another. Can I? And slam. Nice. As long as I can get this reliably, we're in a good position. Cool. And just one more big hit. And slam. There we go. Not bad, actually. It's just... I was not expecting that poison miss attack to be as brutal as it was. Gargoyles, Twin Blade. Valiant Gargoyles, Bronze Twin Blade. Wielder, Missing Project. Parts of Men with the Corpse Wax. Patchwork of Champions. Two-source Warriors, Slashes, Spins. Wilds for Fall-Up Attack. Here is a loft shearing vacuum. Watch for it as a boy projectile. Those are. I could wield them, but they're not that good, frankly. Around here. If only I could use my horse. Okay. What else is here in this arena? You get another level, too. That's nice. Hmm. We're on the other side of this big underground plateau. I can't really see anything in Sifra and in the aqueduct because it's that shows the top part of the cave, the cave roof instead. Mogwin is over there. There should be a way to get to deep root depths. This is nice. Also, I should probably well, I should wait until I die again. So if I die, I don't lose a rune arc or anything. But the way I get to that item, this sort of Nakron is doing a jump down. Hmm. Super aqueduct. Aqueduct above waterfall. Can you get there or super aqueduct? Okay, whatever's all that I already got. Okay, cool. It's interesting that there were two crucible knights there, but at least it's able to do pretty well and even got a parry off on that. Spear Crucible Knight, but that was due to the power of the effect of <sighs> carring retaliation, making parries easy, easy. And that over there, I believe, is the coffin that should take me to Deep Root Depths. Fun fight. Weird texture issue there right now. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Thing over here or no? I guess not. But beating those valiant gargoyles was nice. I am pleased with myself. In that case, let's go here. Thank you. Lost grace discovered. That great waterfall basin. And over here is the way to deep root depths. Ah, coffin. Every Souls game gotta have a coffin that you get inside. Actually, it was Dark Souls 1, then there was Dark Souls 2. I don't think Dark Souls 3 actually had a coffin you rested inside. Yeah. I don't think there was. Golden Ring has multiple. So what's gonna happen? Oh, it just... has an enchantment that teleports you. No, it has an enchantment that floats. That's insane. Beam me up, Scotty. Beam me up, Shifra. Oh, it's like a... zipline? Like a threaded rope or something. Seems like it's traveling a track. It's not really hanging as much as a vertical monorail. That's funny. 
Okay, and there we are. And, oh, but it's broken now, so... No immediate way back. Hmm. Question to me, then, is... How would I... Escape? Yeah, because how would I get out of here without teleporting? There even is a way, but... This is underneath the Erd Tree. Deep root depths. And yet, going back in the coffin is simply not an option. Sad. This over... Let's see... Yeah, the Erd Tree itself is over... Basically over here. It's big enough that the map representation is a bit... Off. Hmm. This be a coffin? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Let's go over here. Should be a map somewhere. But you don't see anything until until all that. Ansel River. Rest of the Grace. Great Waterfall Crest. Took us all the way over here, wow. That went pretty far. Oh, we can see the mist over here, so presumably that's something that will go through. But, the question is whether Rajir is dead now. I don't know. By the way, a single gold rune will get me another level. So... Let's do that. Thank you. Right over the edge. Well, up and... That is good. It... It's just such a good weapon. Scales a little bit off of everything. But he is no longer here, and... The Zoom Boy Regier is dead now. Maybe. Yep. Sad. Bell bearing, spell bites, pointed hat, trout, link guitar, gloves, and trousers. Hmm. And Ogre's letter. That trembling hand. Tell he seems to be older brother, a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron. Stood before the Prince of Death not far beyond that spot, and that looks a bit death blinded. Trousers, Gwinston Sorcery Rajir's trousers, grace with an intricate aristocratic decoration, strengthens Gwinston Sorcery skills. Even with utter detachment, no one noticed the anger, grief, or regret, or fear that existed along with it. Hmm. Alright. But I don't really use sorcery skills. Hmm. So presumably this, would, this hole would fill when I went to on top of the giants. So... Go back over here to Deep Root. Find a map somewhere, maybe. Oh, but... Like I said, I honestly feel... Well, in that case, about the farm Great Bridge. Maybe this is where I test out the power of Lion Greatbow. Dawn's Reign, and then... How many? Oh, wow. That is simple. Okay. In that case, do I have Arrow Sting, maybe? Well, all this is all this is good. What I should do, then, is probably Fire Fortification then Fortification. Yeah. Flame Fortification. That should be good. But, the quickest way over there is to take out the Flying Dragon Grail. Not the same as Grey Ol. Okay. The question is whether I aim for the head or something else. Okay. So. Blessing's Boon. Flame Fortification, I think. Golden Vow. Flame, grant me strength. But, oh, I should equip Redon Spears. That's right. So this should be pretty doable. We'll see. 
somehow on my buffs lasts for the range on that thing. Okay, cool. All right. Thank you very much. And all right, can we shoot and should? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Cool. And oh, all right. That was surprising in a bad way. Maybe I don't want to be here right now. I oh oh what? What the hell? Okay. Actually, I could do that from much closer. I... Hmm. That was tough. And... Well, I still can use it, but even then. I... Let's do this without the buffs I've got normally. Let's make this happen. I... Wouldn't have really had a problem if I hadn't been stupid about it. You do need to get close to the dragon even if you want to use a bow, so that... Okay, can I... And... Go in and... Dodge, can I... Thank you. How much damage will this do in comparison? Hmm, okay. The head... Can I... Oh, well, alright. That was annoying. Can I... Dodge, dodge... Okay, alright. Hmm... Can I... Hmm... This hit? That was... Yeah, you have to go for the body. The Iran and... What the hell? Oh. Okay. I don't... I don't quite like this. But... Do you get the feeling that... This is probably going to be important. Yeah, and getting that defense here as soon as possible is also going to be nice. Cool. Thank you. So then... How do I want to make this work? And... For the body. Thanks. And... Mm -mm. Got, ooh, okay. Mm -mm. Okay. And just... Cannot dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. Whatever. Cool. That was really, really irritating. And... Alright, thanks. Cool. I... Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Alright. <sighs> okay. Moving for the body is nice. That's known. Okay. So then. Alright. Hit. And. That's quite good. Okay. But. Yeah. Piercing damage, riddling them with arrows. Oh my. Okay. Not expecting that. Mm -hmm. Just. Alright. Thank you. Shoot again. Or Dawn's Rain. And just. And. Dodge. Thanks. Shoot. This is good. It is a pretty much a dedicated dragon killing thing. Which is fun. Okay, and. Alright. Can I. Shoot. Thank you. Mmm. Not if it happens like that, though. Come on. I. Uh. Need more blue flasks is the thing. Okay. And I... Main thing is, if I could manage to actually hit the head with some level of reliability, that would be ideal. Does not appear like that will be the case in any meaningful sense. Come on. Can I... Hmm. Can I... Hmm. Maybe. Depends. Heavily. Can I... Mm. Hit and can I? What? What? Never mind. Okay. Cool. Hmm. This is interesting. Can I? Mm. Hit and can I? Rain on the head. The issue is, is that uh, hitting the head reliably with that is 
tall order indeed. Okay. Well, it's actually a good... It's a very, very good skill. Okay. I need that defense here. Well, also... I should use my flask. That's the other thing. But... Hmm. Then, flasks, allocate. That should be good. We'll see. It's kind of funny that this guy fights pretty much exactly like a Gil, but with a more obnoxious arena, arguably, and it's harder as a result of that. Oh, but. Arrows! That's right. Cannot. Thank you. Cool. Alright, and. Cannot. Cool. Thanks, and good damage, again, cool, and ooh, alright, thanks, heal, and dodge, shoot, again, take that, and can I dodge, and, mm, okay, shoot again, and, mm, okay, alright, thank you, hmm, okay. Do I wanna... Okay, decent. Cool. And shoot. Shoot again. Alright. Dodge. Mm, another shot, maybe. And... Mm, okay. Uh, whatever. Okay. Cool. How long is this gonna go for? That's the question. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Stupid. And... Uh, annoying. I could have gotten a hit off, but I didn't. Okay. Hmm. Luckily, this is still very, very good against enemies like these, so... Big question is, how am I gonna get in? Can I... Oh, well, okay. And the worst part is, I had no iframes. Get knocked off the horse, you can get double tapped with that impunity. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, well, at least I can make arrows. Wait. Wait. Okay, over here. Cool. Let's make a bunch of these. Okay. This is still good. Still very, very capable. Okay, then we, big question is, how will I be able to tell? Oh, the turtleneck meat icon, when my buff is down, okay. Thank you, and I did not mean to do it like that, okay, come on. The dawn's rain, thank you, and, okay, all right. Hmm. To tell when I need to buff again is another question. This is an absolute shredder for big enemies. Okay. Cool. And... Alright, we will scrape that in. You're kidding? Did that really... Was that really what stopped me? It's the dumbest thing I've made experience in my short life. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Come on. Buff. The duration of that is leaves a bit to be desired, I will say. Okay. I did not mean to use multiple. Thanks. Can I... Again. Shoot. And... Hmm. Annoying. And... Dodge. Shoot. And... Shoot again. Oh my goodness. Okay. Dumb. And... Dodge. And... How did... Okay. That was really annoying. Okay. Come on, come on. Buff. And... Can I... Hmm. Okay. I... Uh, what a vile fight. I mean it. Okay. Come on, just... Can I... Well, that works, too. It should be more damage. A bit more... A bit more damage. Okay. I... Hmm. 
dodge. And... Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Need to get in close before we get any kind of fire on me. Staying close to this stupid dragon is crucial. Okay. I guess the question is, am I going to lose the buff from... I bet I lost... Did I lose my class buff? Not yet. Okay. That's good. That's summer leap. Okay. So then, another. And dodge. Uh, very, very irritating. Can I... Dodge. Hmm. Dodge. Oh, well, alright. Thanks. Not really. Okay. Shoot. And... What? Come on, you insufferable. Go to hell. Okay. Stupid. Okay. Well. Okay. But. Lion's Grapeo is good. Makes dragons weep. I have to use it. There is no victory I have that does not involve using this thing, so. Huh. I, okay. Alright, just dodge, dodge, dodge. Thank you. Okay, cool. And I. What in the. How did that even. How? how? I thought I'd assume my stance. Whatever. Okay. And no hyper armor on the goddamn skill. Go to hell. I okay. Huh. I just I'm not supposed to win this. I'm really not. Not right now. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Fun is the idea. The worst part is I need to get all the way over here to do anything. Okay. And uh, making this cerulean work is also a lot more trouble than it needs to be in Wait, what? Huh? Okay. It's so finicky with actually activating the skill. Okay. What? How did that even hit me? Stupid. This is actual nonsense. What the hell? I actually hate Dragon Barrow. At least I'm not wasting runes on this, but it runarchs on this, but it's hardly any consolation. The really annoying thing is that I have to manually two-hand this again because of the way that riding works. And that what? Huh? Use that hit. Okay. Stupid. Slam it. Uh. Dodge. Okay. Cool. And... Cerulean. Do uh, what? Huh? Okay. That is... some nonsense. Okay. Hmm. Flame Grammy is fun, but it's not the kind of thing I... Uh, timing on that is really strict. I... Dodge. Uh, well, if I'm under it, it's not that bad, but... Same thing is, I'm getting way too busy with these. Can't afford to go for a second until... That's a good opportunity. Okay, cool. And... Alright, cool. Move in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and... Alright, cool. Okay. Fun. Until use. Some kind of attack and dodge. Cool. Sense. Dawn's rain. And dodge. Thank you. Another. Cool. And dodge. Oh, there we are, which means it's actually Sue's for Dawn's rain. Spears on here. And cool. That is quite strong. Nice. And. Mm -hmm. Just gotta figure out how we wanna 
approach as fast as possible before you use any kind of breath attack. Okay. That actually leaves you pretty open, which is nice. Not well, alright. Hmm. But hitting the body is the move, so. That's the issue. I uh, dodge okay, can I nice. Attack that miss, which means can I Mmm, okay. Alright, and how did that not Okay, you know we'll take it. Wait, what? What are you doing? Can you can you get down here? Okay, I never mind. I don't even know what's going on. I Where do I hit you? Okay, the main thing is that's going to come over at least a little. Maybe what I do is I just shoot you. I just shoot you while you're on that other side of the bridge. The main thing is oh my goodness. That's nonsense. Just get get over here, maybe. Whatever. I'll just shoot. It's like shooting dragons in a messed up part of a bridge. Thank you. I... I'll take it. Thank you. <sighs> Stupid. Dragon heart, dragon heart, dragon heart. It's good quit bait. So we could get a couple of levels out of that too. How exciting. Mind endurance. That's good. But... In the end, it... Radon's rain would be better, but the question is how much better. I mean, Radon's spheres would be better, but... Only about 20%, which is nice, but... I don't think it's gonna make a crazy difference in the end. Flame, and then Faith, and not. Should be fine. And now I I would like to kill that Urchery Avatar. Let's go and make that happen. As the defense, the resistance boosting tier it gives should be very useful for me. I would presume. Let me just check my negations are actually pretty good against everything but lightning. Which means that the tier will actually decrease things by more than you would think given that 15%, because it's 15% flat, I believe. So that should actually be pretty good. Putrid Avatar right here. Pretty close, and should be a stick of America I can use, but... I guess that means a bit of... Dragon Barrow a little bit earlier than expected, but that's okay. That's fine. Thing is, Frenzy Burst is going to be why I do this. And oh, you are strong. Lots of HP. Got a lot of HP there. Not. Hmm. Said so staying on a horseback should be more than fine for me. Should make this not easy, but not nice. And just strafe, 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 strafe. And oh well, I. I don't think that would have killed me, but. Rain is always a problem. Okay. It's on a whole deal. Got to pivot and stay out of the way. Oh, but we need Flame Grammy strength back up again. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Oh, because the buff icons are... Wait, how did that... Whatever. Okay. Come on. Come on. Keep on riding. And... Boom. Dodge. Thank you. Hmm. And that didn't hit, which is good for me. Thank you. And blast and shoot again. Blast and just not out of the way of that. Do not need that hole in my face. Thank you. And another and okay. Come on. One more shot. One more shot should do it. Thank you. Cool. Alright. And that defense here should be mine now. And we fell. I got more runes from that than from Grail. Opaline Hard Tier, Stone Bar Crack Tier, and both of those should actually be very good for me. We're all good for stance. Increase the stance by 30% or so. 
Foster Physic, attacks more lucky break stance, lasts only for a short time. It's all forms of damage and negation. Okay. Cool. In that case, yeah, I should go back over here to... Get that ghost slam torch without having to worry about damage and death. Let's level up. Bye. Everything's at 23 now. Wow. Alright then. Uh, we're, we're... We are doing well for ourselves. We're at level 104, which is... Reasonably... Pretty close to the level I was at when I beat the game on my mage build. It... I will say, I would rather things be an absolute stomp in my favor than to just run out of resources. And... Yeah, because stuff like Godric's Grave Rune and plenty of things make it so that if and when I want to, I can pretty handily deal good damage by targeting enemy weaknesses. The one issue is just actually the lack of vigor. But even then. The only thing is just... How I'm going to get to... I have to get through here every time if I miss that jump or mess it up. I... Weapon. Weapon use. That's good. If we were at a good position via VR load, and it, it's about 75% or so where it gets to heavy load, not quite sure. Yeah, it's not fall to our deaths. It's a mushroom, but it's a pretty awkward jump to get to that over there. Mm -hmm. Halfway down over here, so can I... Oh, that actually wasn't that bad at all. Okay. Hmm, but, ooh, it'd be funny if that killed me, though. Go swing torches over here. It's a power from the normal torch. Silver Tear Husk, and... There we go, Ghost Flame Torch. It is... not really all that special. Oh, but... all this over here... is that... Huh. Well, that's different. I'm kind of confused. Must have messed up something somewhere. If it's like this, can I... And well, all right, never mind. This is oh no, oh rune arc, nice. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. And then, hmm. Wait, cause wait, so how did I miss that then? That's my question. Oh, okay. Hmm. I feel like I should have been able to find that, cause that. Yeah, that wasn't limited. All I had to do was get up here, but I didn't do that. I may be stupid. I'm definitely stupid. Okay. Huh. In that case, I will... quit myself of this place and... Well, first, change that out, but then it's... I guess it's on to deep root depths. If I find anything of real significance, I will use my Runark again. Should be a tree avatar, Fius champions, and then in an urge avatar, I think a putrid avatar actually. Fius champions, and then what are my spells right now? Flame fortification. Don't really need that. Oh, but right, physic. Various things, and then definitely Opal and Hard Tier. That's good. Fire should be useful here, but we'll see. So right now, they're at 35... 35812. Is this... B? Okay, so it is actually increasing by... 15? Well, increase it by 10, which would be... 65 versus 55, which means... Thinking about 
Not a seventh less damage, I would say. Which is nice to have, especially since the effect is just free for three minutes. As long as I use that flash, so it's on the safer fights. And oh, look, urge re the urge re avatar is right over there. So I guess it's time. Hmm. Well, can't use those right now unless I use a rune arc. Metal Torch wins with Cold Ghost Lane to follow the Fallen Hawks who prowl the underground wavers. Bands lost embers used up in their long search to burn the bones of their fellows, acquiring the Cold Ghost Flame but sealing their fate as rollers of the underground for all eternity. Which attack is especially weak to fire, but it's... But it deals magic. <laughs> they just took the description and didn't change it. Okay. Well, let's go and kill that thing. Should be able to just use... A golden order seal without much trouble. So, put my headband back on, sure. A little bit of extra. And actually, in Rot Greaves. That's my best option at the moment. I like the little bit of gold on there, too. But I. Did I use a rune arc? Let's use that rune arc for more buffs. Okay. Then it'll be Crucible Knight Soluria, I think. So. Golden Vow. Blessing's Boon, sure. Flame Grammy. And then. Frenzied Burst. How exciting. And this is actually just a normal Bird Tree Avatar. Okay. And drops the Staff of the Avatar, if I recall correctly. And I. Okay, we dodged that. I'm wondering. Oh, I would have done otherwise. Can I... Okay, and... Can I... Again. Now we strength, and just... Oh my... Okay. Alright. Gruesome. And a couple more will do it. Should do it, at least. Can I... Thank you. Boom. And one more, one more. Not too greedy, but there we go. Nice. And... Is that... Not even enemy slain. Oh, and right, there was no tier, it had no boss bar, it just dropped Staff of the Avatar. And that's not even a level. Okay. Next level would be Arcane. So what is my... Right now that's a 214 scaling. It's kind of crazy to think about, actually. But, yeah, I want to put on Catch Flame then. I'm going to be fighting Solaria. Catch flame. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're moving. Hope we find a map somewhere. Oh, but for now, I should still put this back on. Some weapon on. Bloodhound Swing is always a pretty safe bet. Oh, right. Snap the Avatar. Colossal Weapon. Strike. Can't change that out, though, because but eventually Inferno Crusier should be what I use. A bit more stance breaking and damage in its historic radiance. Avatars to protect the minor urge trees. Bridging the wake of the Elden Ring Shattering, determined to protect the withering urge trees offspring. She slam, jump behind the air, crash down the ground ahead, resulting Pratt Falls and Golden Shockwaves in all directions. It's powerful of all the ground slam skills, and that is. basically a Psalm Demon Butt Slam. Okay. Let's get. our. Woodhound's Fang in there. And some. Yeah, do kiss Urba. Mm -hmm. It was interesting for that to be over there, especially since it was just a normal enemy. Virtually Avatar. Huh. But, I guess my question is, oh, and we got glove warts. But what I really want to find is a map. There's a scarab over here in that. Oh, and a giant ant? Or, no, crayfish! Okay. Interesting. Actually, is that a crayfish or should we golden land? And no, they're giant ants, I think? Maybe. Not quite sure. They look like giant ants, but I... Mm, let me see. I, oh, alright. So I'm not taking all that much damage, but... Flying these guys from horseback is going to be a much better way to do this. And, oh, alright. Hmm. Okay. Come on. 
Monet. Oh, it's the face is the issue. Okay. Annoying. Huh. Can't break. Guard is the thing. And I. Okay, that was pretty good. Getting close enough for them to. Hmm. Close enough to try to prep an attack. You can. It work. Okay, and can I. Well, alright, I was not expecting that. Annoying. And there we go. Cool. Okay. Huh. Formic rock. So then the other is where I can theoretically charge this up fully. Oh, that's the head. This is the butt. Okay. Cool. Come on. Come on. Boom, and how did that. Okay. I guess it's just a matter of whether they're in the middle of an attack or not. That's weird. Mm -mm. Come on. Come on. Uh, Alright, and how did that... Okay. Nonsense. Honestly, nonsense. And can I... Mm -mm. Cool. Okay, that hit. So I guess it's a bit like Crucible Knights where... Whether they shield successfully or not is based on whether they're in the middle of an attack or not. It's a kind of a counterframe thing, presumably. I can see that. And can I... Mm. Either way, poking them down from range should be a good idea. There we go. It really does seem like it is just a weird and unique kind of counterframes. Things in skill, sacred golden land, thrust in the ground, strengths and lease of blast, sacred energy, colossus and golden darts, and that's just what the Urtri avatars do. Strong attack, sweep in a swing and a sweeping strike. On... Um, Great axes, great hammers, great spears, and colossal weapons are only very big things. That would, that might work pretty well with the last rites. I'm not sure. Yeah, the shielded giant ants. Those are interesting. Okay, but... I think a rest at a site of grace is in order. Most likely. But I... Hmm. This place isn't that big. It really isn't. But if he is champions, and then probably the best way to take down if he is champions would be great Epe. That's what I'm betting on. So gotta take down Solaria. So Gloria, if he is champions, Portisax. But, again, I can't fight Fortisax here yet. I'm gonna have to find a way to Wake of Rot. Should be another coffin around here, if I recall correctly. Take me to knock Stella. Spiffing Stone 6, that's pretty decent. But, hmm. Need a little more of some of the other things. Huh. No Arteria leaves. That's... That feels wrong. I've always got plenty of Arteria Weaves and spots that are hard to reach and will have any actual meaningful reward. Okay. So, this goes down here. A number of pathways across these routes, but, huh? Come on. Thank you, horse. Said I. That teleporting back will eventually be necessary. And oh, these big, big flies. Gigantic flies. It's interesting. I. Hmm. Let's go back to a great waterfall crest. And then something around another side. The yeah, Soluria, then Fia's Champions. But it is interesting that that was just a normal enemy Urchery Avatar, so it seems. There are going to be ones like that in the healing tree, if I recall correctly, but... By the way, this... Surprisingly manageable. It's not expecting... Oh, and is that... It's not Solaria. I'm just blind. Okay. Frenzy Burst, I... Should be... Yep, we can just shoot down the... Giant bugs... I think that's probably a good idea. The question is, if I 
Uh, if I shoot them, just a normal, yep, a normal hit will not do it. It's sad, they can't even really tell where I am. But a charge will kill, reliably, and that's good. Huh. So what over there? Am I gonna get over that way? It's another route to jump on, but I feel like the platforming is about to get rather hackneyed. Okay. Let's just check. This is... I see something here. It's a bit worrying. That is too high up. No jumping ahead, yeah. Okay. That... Hmm. Over there... Huh. I... This leads down to that, doesn't it? But... Well, there is a big bug. This is interesting. Feels as if I'm... Having to investigate. Figure out... What to actually get on. That is clearly not going to work. In that case, why is there a bug up there, though? That's the real question. There's clearly a bug over there, but to get on that is probably not an option. I see. Why are there bugs over there? It's my question. And. Oh, that's probably the way down from Frenzied Flame Prescription. Yeah, okay. That would explain it, I think. Go up here. Try to... Oh, and... Okay. There is a cave over here. Bug ahead. So will this be? Or just view ahead. And then I... Oh, we got more bugs. Okay. The question is... Will this... So a full charge will do it, and pretty handily, but other than that, we are... Mm, okay, alright. Have to be unnoticed, but it does work very well, too. Mm, should probably put Starlight back on. Then we... Okay. More fire on the ants. Not the same as fire ants. Should get a good... Oh, that popped it too. Oh, a Newman's rune... Oh, and we even got a rune arc. That's exciting. And another. And they don't notice their brethren dying right next to them. Fine by me. Under residue of gold, Newman are said to have come from outside the lands between are in fact of the same stock as Queen Merica herself. But it's... It's not like we've met any new men. That category means basically nothing to us. And a giant. Never mind. Okay. So down here is. What is my question? Oh, they're coming down. Oh my goodness. Lots of these big ants. Hmm. Well, I. Let's stay away from that if I keep my distance correctly. We'll see. Okay. Keep using Cerulean. Thank you. These ant queens, though. I wonder what they'll drop. The nice thing is that all the... Oh, that's sad. He's stuck in the ceiling. Okay. That's for you. For, through death. And... Hmm. Come on. And... There we go. Ant euthanasia. I didn't even know this was Asia. Okay, I thought that was secular. Thanks. And... Oh, so they're going to the location of... The... Last Bug's Last Death. Last Bug's Death. That one saw me somehow. I guess the other one dying put it on a word of some sort. It would make sense. Okay. Come on. 
Thank you. And yeah, the only thing to do now is just keep shooting. Newman's Rune and... Oh, they all drop Newman's Runes and Rune Arcs? This is... I'll take it. I will take it. It... The day is my lucky day. Yeah, just getting more Rune Arcs after. Burning a decent number is very, very nice. Will this hit? Yeah, I will. Okay. The question is, will I be able to hit from behind this way? Oh, and hitting on the fleshy part does even more damage. That makes sense. Way I would... Are there any left? Can't quite tell, but we didn't get any flashback. back. That's the weird thing. Okay. Visions of up. The hit picks are moving. Somber stone, another. Okay, and oh, this might be the last one. I did not mean to do that. So, yep, boomed. Thank you. And that. Yep, we got a few back. The frenzied burst is such a good spell. It's also a literal eye laser. It really can't get much better than that. The question is, what now? How and where did this link around? And to what? And this is, oh, something legendary. Is it always bug? This, so this is how we get around. Oh, Elven Stars. Okay, six marks. This, this actually sucks. Golden Shooting Stars that assail the area, but it is actually my only Holy Incantation. I... I could actually theoretically cast this if I was really, really funny about it. It would take two talismans and a tear. Jerry, incantation most ancient of those that derive from the Ur tree, create a stream of golden shooting stars that assail the area. So that long ago, the Ritter will send a golden star bearing a beast into the lands between, which will later become the Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. How I adore thee. Maybe. Okay, so the only way to get around here was to go through the ant area. Through the alien ant farm. And then... Well, that was nice. We got... Just said, here, take five rune arcs. I will not complain. Especially since... It really was a good reward for... The fact that... You lose a bit of control of Torrent for a bit. All that happens is... The kind of thing that gives people heart attacks. For a second, I thought I was going to ride off that cliff. And that would have been... An amusing end to the saga. Instead, I do have... I wouldn't say Runarchs to burn, but... Can't afford to lose a few, and oh, that's my first Holy Grace. My damage lasts only a short time, and I think I could... I could craft that, couldn't I? Probably. Presumably, but... Oh, but I... Oh, you need a real golden sunflower, not a tarnished golden sunflower. You need the full version. But it... If only Elden Stars was good. That would be amazing. Smithing Stone 4. And I think... The big thing is that the final explosion does a lot of stance damage, and that can be useful. It's not incredible. I think... I think Thea's champions around here, but... Let's see. Can I get back up over there? So my question is, if I really wanted to, could you kind of go in reverse? Big thing is that I'm pretty sure you do need to kill all the ants in order to get Elden Stars anyway, so... Yep, they do block that off, which is good, because otherwise it would be too cheesable. But, it's having a range option, so I didn't have to take on all those ants one-on-one. -on -one. It was really, really nice. Okay. Oh, these ones are... I don't think they're shielded. These ones are simpler. Okay, cool. Fun. And... Boom. Alright. 
we put that back up. Use these to take the flying ants down. So many ants. Certainly is a choice. Okay. Come on, come on. You down. Keep on shooting. Thank you. It's just... To be fair, a strength build could also use a great bow. I think that the only one that would really be in trouble would actually be a dex build. I mean stone. Smithing stone four. Which is nice, because I still can't buy those yet. Golden rune six. Let's just see. Grace ahead. Is there? Is there a grace ahead? But it really is just a matter of... Where is the map? So, okay, there is... There is a grace right over there. I should take everything out. Before I rest it anyway. Thank you. Oh, and, okay, well, you're right here. It's not expecting another one. Cool. And... Boom. So, doing two hits is not a problem in any way, shape, or form, but... There's another, and yeah, they all disappear on death, and... Wait, where are they coming from? That's weird. Are they just coming out from the ground? It's possible. Okay. Come on, get shot. Thank you, thank you. Cool. Mm -hmm. Question is, what is this? Are these... Okay, it's just nascent butterflies. Then... Formic Rocks, which, if I actually use Acid Spray Mist, which might be, that could be a, an okay idea. Eh, it takes a decent amount of time to use another Formic Rock, and somebody, let me see, where we have Underground, so. Oh, okay, so yeah, some of the ants are just buried and dig themselves out. That makes sense. So what is over here, if anything? I think I checked. Kissed Urba. Then. Nope. Okay. What's over on there on the edge? Let me make sure I don't fall off. Okay. Come on. Let's dismount. It's weird that it wasn't letting us, but. Full moon. Okay. But. Slurry and Theus Champions should be somewhat close in theory, and that would be. Decent. Could probably get to knock Stella real quick. Not do anything there. And this is knock run, and then next we could do knock Stella. It's exciting. But it would be funny if I had Elden Stars on tap just as a way to take down Nox. Because it wouldn't even be that horrible of an idea. Actually, uh, they are very weak, but. Lightning Spear would deal more damage, and I wouldn't have to do any kind of weird silliness to make it work either. So, come on, come on. But, weirdly hard to find. Thank you. Okay. Then we- Huh? It- Okay? It's just a Formic Rock, but... Let me just see, if I quit out, it should be on the ground. I don't even need that. I don't even need that thing. Why do I care? This should put it back on the ground, I think. But we'll see. And it No, it just disappeared. Okay. Maybe it went back to the enemy area? Not sure. Oh, and there you are. Oh, so you're on You're clinging to the side of the tree, okay. Interesting. Wait, what? How did... Did it respawn some of these? It respawned some of them, yeah. I didn't even see those guys. It's crazy. Okay. Huh. Thanks, and... Hmm. Okay. Come on, come on. Have mercy. If I can't kill them in a single shot, it comes a good degree harder. But it... They're noticing is... Strange. Hmm. It's 
kind of hard to tell what makes them notice and what doesn't. And it'd be cool if something was in there. But it isn't a very reliable way to get up there, so it makes sense that there isn't, frankly. So then I... Hmm. It's a weird sort of swamp. This is clearly what's up next after the Sud of Grace. So let's just go over here and... Oh, a finger reader! Hello. That... I think Fias champions are over there. Hi. Lord Godwin. Cruelty and humiliation. Sweet warning, died a true death. First of the demigods to die. Martyr to destined death. Does it yet bring such disgrace? So under Golden Bow since a live in death, such a thing come to be. So she is not even actually responding. Hmm. This is a finger reader. Level up and yeah. Okay, and at 23 now. How exciting. That is interesting. But yeah, Soluria. Soul Knight Soluria will be another mini boss around here and then it should just be Fia's champions that will open up the way to Noxtella presumably Noxtella Noxtella okay well question is where is Solaria and oh well oh we got Basilis Basilis here Basilis swamp amazing incredible should have known, I should have known, should have expected it. One, two, and. Mm. Order healing might have been a good idea, but whatever. I, okay, can I. Slam, slam, slam. At least. Pretty big to slashing. But. It'd be funny if there was a Basilisk boss. It's definitely good that there isn't, though. Can I. Oh, come on. I, okay. Slam, slam, slam. Okay, well, alright. Thanks. Amazing, you have to love Death Point. Every game gotta have the funny Basilisk. The instant, with no direct damage, but the instant death ailment. And I hear something that is fire somewhere. Interesting. Huh. What is. That can't be Soluria. Oh, I think there was a walking mausoleum down here. I think, yeah. Huh. Ghost Glove Ward. Yeah, but this edge would be more convenient eventually. Hmm. Let me see. We got mausoleum knights over there, so... Take the epee down. Oh, that... I, wait, what is... There's something... Oh, a random valiant gargoyle. Oh, but no, that's... Completely destroyed gargoyle. Okay. In that case, then, probably wanna. Mm -hmm. Would be a good way to actually get on there and take that thing out. Is there one? Is there one? Either way, if you can get behind it, you can be pretty free. Okay, cool. Thanks. Can I spin? Oh, nice. Cool. And spawn two, but yeah, these are broken down valiant gargoyles, so. Oh, but okay, we can get up here. Interesting. Something incredible. Golden Rune 1. Okay. But. So this is, I believe, the nameless eternal city? Hmm. Okay. Find another side of grace, probably, and then close things out, I think. Maybe. How much do I have in terms of... Don't have enough of those yet. I don't have enough of these to take it to plus 15, sadly. How sad. We... Oh, and okay, Nameless Eternal City is right here. Fun. And... Nice. Okay, and... Cool, and... Mausoleum Knight. Kill. Interesting, but it's horse. Spectral horse. Can I... Can I... Mm. Oh, but you're remounting now. Okay, well, alright. Thanks. Die. Got both of them, too. Ah. Hmm. 
Distribution of flasks might be less than ideal. That's whatever. But, yeah, and here we are. This should be the Nameless Eternal City side of grace. I think up there it might be. Where the Fia's Champions. And I... Uh -huh. Alright, but... Nameless Eternal City. Deep Root Depths. Great Waterfall Crest. Got that already. It's pretty big, but even so... I... Hmm... I'm wondering how I want to do this. Well, there are these guys patrolling. I think I'll take them all out. Thanks, and oh my, okay, well, that's interesting. Expecting a bit more ease in this. Okay, thanks. Cool, all right. Then we stab, and mm, at least their damage is not great. Okay. Question is, though, how I'll take that thing down. We'll see. Got interesting drops. Big thing is that none of them have any kind of... ...good range. Something I'm really worried about. Thanks. Die. It's helpful. Thanks. Die. And, alright. Cool. Cool. Die. Die. While you're unstable. Then. Eventually, they should drop their gear. Which is okay. It's just okay. But still. Want to kill all these knights. And. Hmm, see who. Oh my. Okay, alright. Hmm. Unstabilize and. I mean, destabilize. Cool. Stab. And a single thrust will do it, which is nice. And... Oh, well, never mind. Can I... Can I... Hmm. Hmm. We need to heal. Pretty badly, too. And... Thanks. Tank you down. And... Hmm. Okay, and... Impale. Impale. Nice. Okay. So then, what else and where is my question? Another one of you... Surprising amount of muscle here, knights. Actually surprised me. Okay. Stab! Stab! And, okay, nice. There we go. Just gotta... Remount and... Will you get back on your horse? No, you won't. Because I'll kill you. Okay. Go around it. Wait until... You can run no longer. Give up, horse. And... Alright. Mm -mm. Runs a bit faster when it doesn't have someone controlling it, it seems. Okay, no more spirit horse. The only person who gets up a funny spirit horse is me. Alright. Come on, come on. Destabilize. Cool. And, oh, is this? Necessary item ahead. Huh. That one's got some funky buff. Huh. Alright. Thanks. Yep, and... Cool. Can I... Mmm... Okay. This is certainly something. Can I... And... Mm, Alright. Can I... Alright, there we go. And... Almost. Not that much more damage than the standard, but at least it's guaranteed entirely. Thank you. Cool. So what is that necessary item that's supposedly ahead? It'd be really funny if it was the map. Expect good fortune and... Oh, a somber smithing still at 7. Oh. That's exciting. That looks a bit drained of color. There's only would be found up north, but... Hmm. Come on, come on. Let's get some of that. Ducus Urba. Ghost Glovehort and a Spirit Spring. That'll be stringed by Merely Corporeal Glovehort. Okay. Where will this take me? Going up over here. And frankly, what's this? Okay, nothing. Nothing, it seems. 
Go up on a road on this spirit spring. Hmm. Okay. Cool. And then we... Is that... That is Soluria. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So we have an opportunity here. Let's take a run. Got our tears going. Should be fine. Put on guards. Could be okay, but mm, let me think. This is good. This blessings boon. Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength, and then Frenzy Burst to start things off, and then we do that, and not bad. Soul Knight Soloria. And cannot. Don't. Nice. That was actually pretty good. Pretty easy. Out okay, nice. And not oh, well, never mind. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, and go in and fly, and dodge. Okay, nice. Cannot. One. Two and dodge. Okay, nice. One, two, and another. There we are. That was kind of a joke. Great enemy, my. I had more trouble with the one in Sifra. Solaris Tree, and. Two honors form us among the Crucible Knights. Primal to form the Urge, recalls the nature of life itself. The sphere model on its Crucible imbued with the ancient holy essence. Solaris Woe, with rest of the weapon, and a spawning motion surrounding in a vortex of wind. Two attacks with the power to blow away enemies, and can fire the tornado forwards. Well, it actually... I can wield this thing. I could if I wanted. This is actually a bit like the Isterel, arguably, from Demon Souls. It's got a lot of holy damage. Huh. Well, next time I have to fight something that actually deals holy damage, I might try that. But, Roots of the Urdry. Let's go for it, seven. Hmm. A lot of description. This, Visions of Sacrifice. So what's in here? Some kind of incantation or armor set? Ah, the Crucible Tree Armor, cool. Let me just see what... And this is a bit lighter, but it's got worse resistances in every way but holy. Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, Knight Solari, and her men, power of the Crucible of Life, natural form of the Urge aspect strengthens the aspects of the Crucible incantations. Time, the strength shown by these knights, and even their appearance was seen as chaotic and deserving of scorn. Solari is marked, displayed also by her men, and great tree ornamentation. So maybe the other, the other spear ones might not be women. Well, presumably they used men in a gender-neutral sense. No horse ahead. Oh well. Ouch. But that went very, very well. Wonder how things will go with the Ordovus then. Then, take that off, put on Great Epe. After stopping that mausoleum, I think I'll end things for today. And next time I will go on to... as champions. Okay. That was remarkably simple. It... I, I have conflicted feelings on how how good early game incantations remain. Like Karin Slicer and Catch Flame. As it does also kind of obviate a lot of the need for using later and stronger incantations a lot of the time. Black Blade is pretty cool though, even if I kind of doubt it would be all that useful for me. And in the end, the coolness factor can never be fully... You can never really forget about that entirely. Okay, and all right, cool. Surprised that worked. Okay, and I... Thank you, thanks, and okay, all right. Cool. Ah, yeah, that back. They're pretty generous with the timing on that too. Golden rune, ghost glove wart. Mm -mm. Melted mushroom. I hear a scarab. Hello. Hi there. 
What is that over there that I... Okay. Two and... Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding. It's all just basilisk over here. You've got to be kidding me. Two, three, and... What is that then? It's... Just a somber stone. Okay, whatever. Question is... Oh! At least one of them fell. That's nice. We take those. And I... Can I... Mmm, the anti-air. Nice. Okay, I've got to get out of the way of that. So then... Another basilisk that survived the process, or... It's clearly one did die. Maybe two even died. Can't tell. That's down there, so what is over here then? Mm hmm Let me see. That's more basilisk. I... Cannot claim to like this. Another thing down on another side, but... The main thing is, I can actually level... Bloodhound's Fang to 7, which is... Going to make a number of things kind of ridiculous. It... If I'm lucky, I might be able to actually get... Get it to plus 10 before Morgoth, which would... Probably just humiliate him. We'll see. The slashing damage and Bloodhound's Fang, it's got bleed build up, but it's perfunctory. It's the damage you use it for. Golden Rune, okay. Hmm. But, a number of things. And, oh, so is that where you went? I think that's where you went. And two, three, okay. Hmm. Put this back on and take down the Lingering Knights. Who is shooting at me from where? Okay, well, whatever. Mausoleum Knight with a great bow, it seems. But, it is funny to think that one of the most useful spells in the game is arguably just Starlight. Because of not having to. Being able to two-hand weapons that otherwise would require, you know, you'd have to hold a torch for light, and... Thank you. Cool. Okay. And, oh, we finally got Muslim Greaves, and that... Hmm, it's worse. And as to guard the Muslim, time is yet to dull their luster. Probably supernatural in nature. Well, and, okay, alright, and... Oh, okay, hmm. Come on. Stab. I actually did not mean to do that. Didn't really need to do, to do that, so... Thanks. And... Okay. Cool. But... The block rate is actually pretty low. It's funny. Okay. I need a... Mausoleum Knights, the Mausoleum itself, and... Should be good. Stepping Stone 5, not bad. Thank you, and... Should be good, but... Huh? How did that miss? Whatever. I will pretend that didn't just happen. Nice. And then we... Should probably... Fix some of that. Thank you, and... Okay, alright. And... One more. Okay. Hmm. Cool. But... You really just go right through the shield is pretty nice. Thank you. Okay. Uh, other spots, other factors, but just a lack of a map is it's really irking me at the moment. Can I... Alright. Mm. Ooh, my goodness. That was painful. Okay. And can I... Uh -huh. And stab. Can I... Need a few more cerulean tears. Can we do that? Stab and... Alright, cool. Thanks. Cool. Some of that back and... There should be some more items around here, presumably. Is so this... For a second, I thought that was a Stella for the map. It... That may be stupid. Oh, Mausoleum Soldier Ashes. Nice. Five Mausoleum Soldiers, same numbers as the Hawks. Confound foes disappearing and reappearing at will. Bodies of soulless demigods laying to rest while their masters into death, severing their own heads from their bodies. 
kind of kind of ancient Egyptian maybe hmm mm -hmm. how do I there's one over here that is another somber stone nice we take those and okay mm -hmm. can I there we are and can I do that and oh I did not mean to do this okay cool I guess hmm -mm. The main thing is, I should probably try to be at full health on these things. And, alright, die. Okay. Cool. There's not all that much left of that in this area. A couple more knights to take down, but beyond that, we'll be okay. Can't really get up around here, but. Knights, the mausoleum, some more tree branches with annoying basilisks on them, and that should be good. More than enough. Okay. Oh, but where is the... Where are the skulls? That's my question. And... Oh, okay. And... Sab. Die. Sab. And... Hmm. Thank you. Back up a little. Slim grieves again. Huh. Why is it grieving? What does it have to be sad about? Yeah, but... Get over there. Might need a spirit spring or something similar. And I- Oh my- Okay, that was painful. Not expecting that. Okay, and just dodge. Okay. Uh, dodge. And, mm, how do I want to- Stab. Stab. And there we are. Take that out. It's got a- Mount- Kill the rider. This would be... This is probably the best way to do it. And, oh, well, alright. Get in. Stop somewhere, we'll just snipe the spirit horse. Okay. That did not mean all that much, but... I hate that stupid horse enough that I may as well do it. And then... How much? That's as many as I have, period, then. Okay. Lightning Great Bull. Great! Hevelstone Shards, powerful lightning damage. Powerful lightning damage. Oh, so I'd have to jump up from some of those roots over there. Or jump over. Okay, that makes sense. It's actually pretty cool. Sick dog, all the more rump. Is that a bear? I think that's a bear. Okay. Let's see who's... Make ourselves as strong as possible. Take this stupid bear out. Sings Boon. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Vow. Flame Grant Me. Cheers up. Okay. Cool. Run in. Bear. Bear and. Oh my. Ooh, this is a. Tough Rune Bear. Thanks. And. Move in. And. Can I. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I. Dodge it. Okay, alright, thanks. Bear hug, and can I... Ooh, alright, can I... Mm -mm. Swing, and move in. How do I want to go over and critical the bear, and want to... How did I miss the crit on the bear? Um, maybe an... Uh, maybe an idiot. Okay, heal. And dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, wait, how did I... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, come on. Alright. That did surprisingly little damage. And die. 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 And dodge. Dodge. Kill. Thank you. Okay. Why is it always bear? Okay. Beast Blood. Somerson 7. Golden Rune 8. Fan daggers. I'm a fan of daggers. It's a mushroom and... Fan daggers. Got... A lot of those are patches, but together Raptor Assassin's Hammer and Throne doing damage. Do damage wide range suitable for constricting enemies. Okay. It's a mushroom. Clearly it's that's all I gotta do it. Well this yeah, the only thing left is to go on the roots to get up. But killed Soluria. That's good. That's nice. Hmm. Eternal City Grace is over there, so let's just, yeah. Go to the mausoleum. Bring it down. 
that'll end things, and hopefully I'll get a map somewhere. We'll see. Nameless Eternal City Burns is going to be the place to go next. So those gargoyles and hmm. Yeah, but let's just avoid death. That'd be nice. Can I? We got some more. Okay. How'd that happen? Whatever. Wouldn't imagine they're respawning, but. Hmm. Okay. Hop down from this side, or? No, that was where I went before. Never mind. This is just different. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my. Okay. All right. Come on, come on. Want me to... Someone is shooting at me and I don't know who. Just a mausoleum man or what? Okay. And then, can I... Slam it! Okay. Can I... <clears throat> Do not death blind me. Come on. Gimme. 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 And... Kill. Made her slash. Perception. They're trying to shoot at me. It's just... Not working. But I should go up over it and dispatch whoever's shooting at me so that I don't have to... Oh, I think it's just Mausoleum Knights, probably. Hmm. Come on. And can I... Thanks. Two. Three. Ooh, that... It's not great. I... What I might want to do is use... Frenzy Burst could be a good option, maybe? We'll see. Possibly. But, spot that will take me the right place versus, oh, over here, okay, cool. Hello there. And no items, actually one item. Can I, all right, mm -mm. can I, can I slam and, uh, can I, uh, all right, can I slam and dodge, okay, cool, can I try that again? And dodge it. Can I... Uh, finding this guy without... Without piercing damage is unpleasant. Okay, cool. And... And dodge. Can I... Slam. Alright, die. Cool. Oh, I did not mean to do that, but that works still. Big thing is, that's gone now. So he's a six. Always welcome. Revenge. Jumping ahead. Nope. Nope. Actually, maybe, but it's definitely not the best way to do things, I'd say. Actually, let me... Oh, what did I... What the... Goddamn hell. What the hell? That makes... I hate this game. Okay. Stupid. Well. You just run through then. I don't need to worry. But... That was one of the dumbest things I've ever experienced. It's just... The fact that you're so constrained in the getting on tour in animation, and it will let you just readily ride straight off a cliff is honestly a truly baffling decision. It... The main thing is that... Dying, falling off... A ledge, and they do have some. They do have ledge detection. The game does have ledge detection. Does not stop. Does not allow you to immediately go into a jump, and that's what really annoys me. And wait, what? How do you shoot me off mid jump? It's so ridiculous. Hate this. Hate this actually. Mon. Well, you can die, or just get out of my way. Stupid. That one to the stupid death counter. Okay. Pretty high up there. Can I? Nice and zoom back. And, okay, whatever. Die. What is this? This is Golden Rune Eight. Main thing is, even if it can still technically, it's not dead, but its ability to actually shoot at me is basically nil now. It's nice. Thank you. Slash, slash, slash. Oh my, what in the- Goddamn. Okay, at least that didn't kill me. Come on. Okay. That- Well, it fell. Fell to its death. Good. 
But I... It's just... The way that worked out is so... Vile. Okay. And I... Swing. Swing it. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm -mm. Slash and... Try to stay out of the cloud. Entirely out of the cloud. Okay. Well. So down that mausoleum and content myself with my current results. And wait, what? Huh? I hate these guys so much. Okay. Really? Okay. Stupid. It's just so good at sniping and come on. Okay. Can I? Can I? I can't get back up. Kill yourself and go to hell. Uh, it's just... I managed to kill that when I tried to go the other way in it. If I'm ever getting on tour in any kind of place that requires meaningful platforming, I need to be perfectly still. Which is just... Hilariously clunky as a game mechanic. It... It would be one thing if the game was like Shadow of the Colossus. And the entire point of the horse is that it was annoying to ride and almost impossible to command because it's a horse, not a you know, not a vehicle, but that's not it's not how Elden Ring works. It's not a game about riding your horses, it's a game about fighting bosses. Okay. Die. And you gotta stay out of the way of that. One and oh my goodness. I uh, you almost got stuck in the death by cloud. Okay. Mm -hmm. But strength boost of a rune arc is really, really good, but I cannot afford to be always using it. Clearly. Okay. One, two, three, and mm -hmm. that should kill. Yeah, it killed. Okay, cool. And, well, you can also die. I will accept that as another Acceptable result. One, two, three, and all right. Mm -mm. Four. Just jump onto the mausoleum. It's over here. Okay. Go over. Put that out. Let's see how. Over there, I think. Yeah, I would be able to get over to the mausoleum from the. This branch as well, but, you know, rarely do things work out exactly as I like them to, or would want them to. So now we just go over here. Be funny if it stop me somehow. Break these rocks. And that'll be all for today. It's cool that it was a bit of a platforming challenge, or frankly a basilisk challenge. So, might be it. It's trudging differently, and I don't see any. Is it going to lower itself now? I think it sh might be, but let's just check. I don't. Yeah, it's lowering itself to the ground. So there we go. And oh, we were unceremoniously dropped off. Okay, so let's open this up. Do this whenever we feel like. Be Pretty quality of life that they showed, which remembrance items you'd already gotten, but whatever. You can make all of these. I don't need the Regal Ancestor one. Well. Okay, so in that case, go back to Round Table. It is quite cool, honestly, that you have to explore this place mostly mapless. It's cool when games do that. Level up a dick. It's always bigger. It's always bigger. You always do bigger. Okay. In that case, I suppose we will adjourn. This was fun. Next order of business will be taking on Fia's champions in Deep Root, presumably. Okay then. Sound of Ragon.